Welcome in, everybody. Welcome to Melissa Crochets with Love. I greatly appreciate each and every one of you being here today. And today is going to be a short little, I guess, tutorial, um, more of an educational tutorial that I've been promising a lot of you. Um, I kind of figured out how to get the camera to, but my lighting, I guess, is not the best. So bear with me. Okay. So I promised you all a few weeks back a way to connect any panels or uh, granny squares, and you can use this for knitting or crochet. As long as you have that little V-stitch, these, knitting or crochet, um, and a, a loop, one loop to grab onto, you don't need any yarn or any darning needles or anything like that. Now, at the end of these, before I show you with some squares, I'm going to show you how to do it. You'll see a purple, you can use stitch markers. Um, at the time, I only had some extra yarn. Um, when I was practicing this a while back, but you, this is just tied in there because when you get to the end of your, you know, when you're attaching them, you're going to have one live loop. Um, and so you want to put a stitch marker in that live loop. Um, if you're going to attach more squares, that's where you start. If you're going to add a border, then you would just pick up the live loop along with your border and you're all set to go. Um, but yeah, so this is what it looks like. Um, I know I showed it on my live, but if you can see, um, here's better. So this is a light blue. I don't know if you can see that color in the camera. And this is more of like a medium blue, baby blue. Now, if you see here on this side is the medium blue stitch. This color is on this side. And the light blue is on that side. So what you're doing is you're grabbing a loop and you're pulling it through the other loop. And I'll show you that um, with a couple squares that I had made. You know, this is, I'm, I'm not really good at tutorials, but let's try it, right? I'm excited to show you all because I found this to be a lot easier when I was attaching, sorry, let me just show you. When I was attaching my, um, knitted panels not the bottom the bottom I did inside out before I did this um but if you look at the this I did this technique and you can see it a little bit but now you really can't tell unless you look really close um you really can't tell um and it's really it's flat it's smooth I feel like the tra the transition's better than now these were this is before I turned it inside out and I you know sewed it or whatever look at the difference between that and that so yes <clears throat> so let's get started so um I use a size what is this one a four uh, yeah I use a size five crochet hook to make these squares it's all different yarns um but what I'm gonna do what I found was easier is to use maybe like a half a size um, lower it you can try the same size as you use for this but sometimes if it's not if it feels like it's too tight you may want to go down a half a size or a size lower crochet hook to attach so you're going to line your two squares up like this and you want to make sure that um, this is only going to work if your squares have the same amount of stitches so when I did my granny square collaboration I was attaching squares that were all different sizes However, that wouldn't have worked for that. These have, you have to have the same amount of stitches um, from one end to the other end, okay? Um, so let me show you. And this is a darker gray. I should have probably choose. So in my corner here, I have my three, my three, right? And then my chain one. So I'm going to go into my chain one on this one. And on this one, I have my three my chain one and my three stitches and I'm going to go into my chain one let me see I want to make sure you can see it my chain one on that one and I'm and you can go from the top and start or you can start at the bottom it's honestly whatever you feel more comfortable with when I was attaching the knitting bag I kind of did it both ways and I found that the bottom works best for me so you're going to pull that purple loop and you're going to have to finagle it at first. At first, it's kind of awkward. There's the purple loop, right? So next, you're going to go into the very next stitch. And it's going to be the outer row, both outer rows. And you're going to pull, kind of hold your bottom. And you may have to twist your, 
crochet hook, guys. Um, in the beginning, I do find that it is a little more, to get it going, it's a little more tedious. Let me see. The first couple stitches always get me. Bear with me. There we go. Okay, so you got the gray on your hook, and you want to go to your next purple. If I can get... Oh, that's where I tied my end off. I'm like, wait a minute. Okay, it'll get easier. And then you pull it through. Oh. I'm gonna pull it through. And now that I'm showing you, it wants to give me a problem, right? <laughs> okay, so we got the purple one on there, right? And so we're gonna go to the next gravy. The first couple guys really are tough. I don't know why. I think it's because it's the corner. There we go. Um, you got the gray one on. And so now you want to go to the purple V. And you want to just slip stitch it through. All you're doing is slip stitching using the the granny squares that you or whatever you you have. No extra yarn. And you slip stitch the gray through the purple. And you go over to the purple. And you grab your purple loop. And you just keep doing this all the way up. Now, the again, you see in the very beginning, I think it's because it's the corner. Even when I did my the knitting one, the first couple definitely were hard. You have to finagle it. But I want to show you, I don't want to edit and, and start over. I want to show you that, yes, it's simple once you get going. But the very beginning, it is a little tough to get your stitches to start. Um, So don't give up if you're trying, just keep going. You've seen I struggled and... It will definitely flow easier. And, um, you know, when you do your squares where you sew your end in this purple one, that's where it was started. To, that's where I knotted off. So that stitch was a lot tighter. So that's also something you want to be aware of. Okay, so we have the purple. And you always know which color you're going to next because you have the purple on your hook. So you would go next to the gravy. And you'll go to the gravy. and you pull it right through the purple. And you go back and forth, go to the purple, and you pull it through the gray. I just wanna make sure that you all can see, hopefully you can, go to the gray and pull it through the purple. Go through the purple, slip stitch it through the gray, and you're gonna keep doing that all the way up, okay? Now, you can see that uh, I'll wait, you know what, I'll wait a second because I want to have a couple more stitches in. So you can see um, your colors blend. So the purple, a little line of the purple will go on the gray side and a little row of gray will go on the purple side. Um, this works really, really well with knitting, your knitting panels. When you're attaching knitting panels or seaming, you know, something together, it works really, really well with the knitting. Um, and that's, that was my first attempt was trying it with the knitting. And I was like, well, I wonder if I can do it with the crochet. And I, I did, um, I was able to. So you just gonna keep going back and forth and always remember you're gonna do the opposite color if you have different colors. Now, if you have same color squares, you just have to really pay attention and know what side you need to go to next. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so I have the purple, so I'm gonna go to the gray. Whoops. Ooh, my hook got stuck. And you don't have a lot of room to move your hook, guys. Now you have gray. You're going to go to the purple. I hope that uh, this helps you guys. Make sure you let me know in the comments if you've tried this before. Um, if you do try it, if it helps you. Um, I'm going to go all the way to the top before ending the video because I want to show you the live stitch. Um, because... It's really important that if you're gonna attach more squares, you would just do the same thing. You would grab the two corners with the stitch that you already have, or if you're going to, if you're done and you're gonna do a border, you have to grab that live stitch because if not, it will come undone. So I have a purple on my hook. I'm gonna go right in here and I'm gonna grab the gray stitch and slip stitch it through. Purple stitch and slip stitch it through. Gray stitch, slip stitch, 
purple stitch slip stitch and you may find it easier to start at the top you know it just kind of depends what is more comfortable for you and I'm going to stress it enough is the first couple stitches will be a little tough it's kind of foreign you know it's if it, you're trying to attach your squares with your stitch I don't, it just to start it it does start off a little funny um but look at that you can see the two colors how you know and it's it's flat. There's no bul there's no bulge there. There's nothing. It's completely flat. Okay, let me get through the last couple so I don't hold you all. I had to turn my big light off because it was too bright. I felt like you guys couldn't see. So I hope that this is visible enough. I have about I don't even know, maybe five or six more mini educational tutorials that now that I have my camera set up that I can do, I will definitely be having those out. Um, I'm excited to start bringing some little mini educational tutorials to you all. And I hope that they help at least one, if they help at least one person, then that will make my day. Anything that can make something easier for all of us. Now, we, so you wanna make sure that you are ending. So we, I have my chain one here right? That's going to be my last stitch. And I have my chain one here. So I'm going to take and grab the purple. Whoops, I grabbed two. I'm going to pull it through the gray. And I'm going to grab my last gray of this row. My chain one that I had in there. So do you see? This is a live stitch. I can take the crochet hook out and it's not going to come out right away, but if you tug on it and like enough, the purple is going to come off and it will come undone. So it's really important. Let me grab a stitch marker. Should I have one? Sorry. Oh, and my thing keeps coming up. Okay. So put your stitch marker there. And then you won't have to worry about it. So if you want to do a couple at a time, say if you're connecting granny squares for a granny square blanket, whatever the case may be, um, you don't have to worry about it. You know, it's not going to come undone. Now, if you're going to say you have a bunch connected, um, you can do them sideways. You can do, line them all up and just go long ways. You know, whatever you choose to do. Um, like this one. I just did the same thing. I attached the two. And then I put the other two on top and I just grabbed that chain one, like the first stitch on each one. And I just continued to go back and forth. Um, and then once you're done with that, you would turn it and you would just do your, the same thing here. Now, when you get to the middle, you would just grab the middle stitch and keep going over. Um, and again, make sure you, you put a stitch marker or yarn, whatever you have handy and hold those live stitches. And if, when you add your border, um, you grab that live stitch, okay? So your project does not unravel. I hope that you all learned something if you haven't already done this before. I hope that this helps you. Um, I hope that you could see. <laughs> um, but I hope that you all have a great day. Thank you for watching. Please let me know in the comments below um, what you thought of this little mini educational tutorial and if it's something that you think you'll use. And if you do use it, please let me know if it helped you. Um, that is really what I really am trying to do here. I want to bring some mini tutorials. I got a couple written down. So there'll be a couple more coming um, within the next couple days. So please keep an eye out for that. I hope that you all have an amazing day. Thank you for watching Melissa Crochets with Love. You have a safe day. Remember to stay safe and love yourself. Bye, everybody.